Trainers, what is going on? Drewby here, coach of your New York Marauders, bringing you our team with it for week three of the BBR. And today, oh man, my friends, look at the team here. It looks a little familiar, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Doesn't it? We have a little rhetorical walk and wake there. I mean, th th this th this team is pure threats, dude. Annihilate, Slow King, Galler, like. Walking away, Torkoal is after us. This team is insane. This team is absolutely insane. So we're going to bring some zest and we're going to hope for the best. That is literally the goal this week. A knife is such a doozy to deal with. And then this league, you can terrestrialize. lives. So I don't know what the hell I'm going to do about that. I try to get through it. But we have options, my friends. And what are those options? We're going to show you the six mons we are bringing this week. First and foremost, our boy, Galar Slow, bro. We're going a pure physical set this week. Why are we doing that? Well, guess what? EQ for the opposing Slow, bro, Gal Slow King Galar. We are also AV, max with death, max HP, to at least somewhat wall the walking wake if he has a stun up and we're not doing damage. We don't really have anything to hit him with besides shell sidearm, but it's still a good chunk. It's about a third. I mean, he also possibly poison him, I think it was. I forgot exactly. But we have that bad boy ready to go um, for that. Uh, we have uh, Drain Punch for the Weavile. We have, like I said, EQ for the opposing Slow King Galler and EQ in general. And then Ice Punch like Zapdos, Bramble Ghast, um... Also have EQ in case he's not levitate on the Bronzong. Otherwise, Bronzong does kind of wall this thing. But we have, oh excuse me, we have Drake Punch. It's normal, so a normal a normal effect in this. So we have that there. But I don't expect Bronzong and Slowbro to really see. I I'll, I'll probably switch out before he does anything with his Bronzong, and maybe switch out into like probably my Garganacko. But we'll see what goes down there. I mean, nothing crazy there. So that's gonna be our Slowbro Gallop for the week. Physical attacker, just max HP, max Spadef for an attack, and make sure we get around the um. Uh, just to make sure we get around his opposing slow king and whatnot. So I think it's a pretty good bring this week. Next up, we have our Iron Moth. Pretty much a standard Iron Moth here. Nothing crazy. We are indeed going to get a speed boost this time. We are not messing EVs up. Uh, we have Fire Dance, Sludge Wave, D-Gleam, Energy Ball. Pretty self-explanatory if you ask me. Terra Fairy, D-Gleam for the Walking Wake. Fire Dance Stab, Sludge Wave Stab. And then Energy Ball is going to hit the Quagsire. It's going to hit um, Water Type, Annihilate. In case the Tarasa is the water type. So that is basically your Iron Moth. Nothing crazy there. Garganackle. Physical wall. Nothing crazy at all. In case you do bring in Bronze on. We have the Fire Punch here. And your standard max defense. Because you are going to be our physical wall this week. Anything physical attacking. We're going to see Garganackle coming in. And can also hit Zapdos a little bit. Hit uh, Torko a little bit. And like recover Stealth Rock. So we had to set up for the week. Nothing crazy there at all. I promise you my friends. The Zest is coming. But just wait. One more month ago. Dragonites. Nothing crazy here either. Decoy, EQ, Fire Dance, Dragonites, Hop and Berry for the uh, Walking Wake. He might do the same thing on his Walking Wake of the Hop and Berry. But either way, plus one Decoy will kill him. And we have just enough speed that at plus one we outspeed um, Walking Wake by one point in the sun. I mean, not in the sun. The sun is up. There's no way my speed. It's like 500. There's no way my speed in that. And I didn't really want to think it was... I didn't really think it was worth bringing... Uh, any more speed EVs outside of outspeeding Wake by one. If we outspeed Wake by one, we should outspeed the entire rest of the team outside of Weavile. Uh, so we should be good in that regard. We have Fire Punch for the Bronzong, so we can't be walled. EQ for coverage, and obviously D-Claw for the Walking Wake and just a stab move in general. We have the rest of our, we have Max Attack, enough points to outspeed Walking Wake by one at plus one without the sub. And then the rest is an HP, odd number, so rocks don't really do, um... So rocks get a little less damage on us, and of course, just being bulky in general. So that is our Dragonite this week. Like I said, the zest is here, my friends. Salad Berry, Endure, Frostless. What are we doing here, my friends? Honestly, I don't know. Ice Beam and Shadow Ball, they stab. Um, we gotta have those. The I do know what I'm doing here. The goal is, if he has anything fast and is gonna kill me, I Endure. Okay, I go to 1 HP. Salak Berry triggers. Now I outspeed Walking Wake in the Sun. I outspeed basically the whole entire team. And if I have to, before my voice cracks again, we click Destiny Bond and say, hey man, your move. Do you take me out and take yourself out? It's kind of like an emergency backup button in case things get a little iffy there. Um, I'm not going to lead this thing. We're going to keep it in the back. I'm probably going to lead our Guard Canacle this week. But our goal is Salak Berry, Endure, Fast D-Bond, Fast Ice Beam, Fast Shadow Ball. Pretty good stabs for this week. Uh, Shadow Ball hits pretty much everything I need to. It hits the freaking Night Before It Terrestrializes. Hits Loking Galler. Hits the Bronzong. And then Ice Beam gets the rest. With like Bramble Gas, Zapdos, um, 
walking wake a little bit, you know, it's neutral, same with Shadow Ball, but that is basically the goal with Forest Blast this week, nothing crazy at all, I should say nothing crazy at all, but it's, it's like, it's not that crazy, but the option is that, of course, Cursed Body is still there in case you take some damage, we can negate an attack, hopefully, and then maybe really put you in the mind, so, Salak Berry Endure, Destiny Bond, let's see what happens. Then the ultimate zest for the week, my friends. The ultimate zest. Lilligan Hisui. Look at that move pool. Leaf Blade, Close Combat, Victory Dance, Rain Dance, Weakness Policy. You're probably thinking, what the hell are you doing? Let me tell you right now. I, know if it, I don't know if it's going to happen, but this is my logic and my explanation here right now. Listen up, because it's going to be a doozy. My goal is either switching cleanly against Torkoal. Okay, and then against Torkoal, I want to bait him to Lava Plume. Torkoal is obviously slow as sin, so I want to get the Rain Dance up. I go Rain Dance, he's like, what the hell is going on here? Torkoal goes Fire Attack, it does 40% to me in the rain. I count it, as high as attack, it does 40% to me. Um, could do more, but either way, Rain Dance lets me live. All I got to do is live, that's all I care about is living. Boom, with this policy goes off, I'm at plus two, plus two now. Or if I, even if I don't, maybe he's low enough, I just could go Victory Dance. Or maybe I already have the Red Up or something. But either way, my goal is to be plus two, plus two. Now Close Combat takes out the Torkoal. And then I'm going to try to sweep from there. We also get our Victory Dance up. Because at plus three, I'm pretty sure I kill everything I need to. The only thing a little risky is I wanted to put on, um, what do I want to put on this thing? I forgot what it was exactly. Because I got to be walled by, um... What do you call it? Slow King Galar a bit here. That's, that's a somewhat of an issue, but at plus three, if we get there, it's, it's, it's good damage. Basically, I just want to get to the plus two, bare minimum with the weakness policy, and then have the rain up, force him to switch out, maybe get a victory dance going, be at plus three, plus one, plus one. That is the goal. However, if that doesn't work out, guess what? We have Chlorophyll, okay? Now, with Chlorophyll, our speed is double. He gives me the, he gives me the sun. Maybe I don't even got to go for the rain dance. Now I have double speed. I outspeed literally everything. Uh, I made sure I outspeed walking wake in the rain. We are, I mean, in the sun. We are adamant. The rest is making it as bulky as possible. It is a big risk doing what I want to do. But either I want to switch in cleanly against Torkoal. With a, by cleanly, I mean I get a free switch in. He, Torkoal cannot attack me. I just, boom. Lilligan comes in, or he brings in Torkoal to wall Lilligan, because honestly, it makes sense. He, Torkoal pretty much shuts this thing down, so basically, he gives me the Chlorophyll, okay? Or, if he's at full HP, I go Rain Dance, he hits with the Fire Attack, triggers the policy, he's scared. Depending on the situation, I either Close Combat, or a Victory Dance, or a Leaf Blade. So, we'll see what happens. So, worst case scenario, we have Chlorophyll to get the speed going. And uh, we have weakness policy in general. So if we even get a victory dance off, and then maybe we live for the, like a fairy attack or, I don't know, flying. and Not flying, but you, you a bug attack or something. I, I don't know. But that is the goal this week. That is my logic. Is it going to work? I don't know. But that is my thought process. That is the plan. And that is the spice of bringing having some fun this week, my friends. And that is that. Week 3, BBR. I'll see you guys there. Battle coming in hot. Have a great day. Stay healthy. Stay sexy. We'll see you soon. Fancy outro. Yeah. Is that good?